I'm back again today to show you the cuttings that I, um, I asked uh, if anybody knew the name of it and only one person told me the name. I'm not sure I forget their name but I will write it down right below. Thank you for letting me know. Um, so it rooted the satin pothos you can see right there it's with roots it's so beautiful i got this cutting from a friend another one here so just two and i have my cup with the soil and i'm going to just put it in here it's so simple and easy um, this time i decided to root it in just regular tap water i just left it uh, the water to kind of you know that chlorine to evaporate i leave it there for like maybe five minutes and then i use that water to root them so just kind of with the my handy dandy chopstick <laughs> plastic chopstick and um I'm going to root this up now I would like to cut it up a little bit I want to grab the whole uh, the two roots that are growing there you see that there's two roots there I want to cut it there I don't want to cut it too much I don't want it to get sad on me and I'm going to try carefully not to break my roots so I'm gonna put my two fingers in there that way I don't have a problem with my roots breaking. I want it a little bit more deeper. There we go. And just kind of tighten it up with a finger. be adding a little bit more soil to this on top but this is just a demonstration how easy it is to root plants and this does grow the indoor plants I have no problem with but with uh, you know those stories that you hear you can root vegetables and stuff you know I'm curious and I will try it and I have which the carrots was not a successful thing this one I want it very nicely deep as well cut it just a little bit there we go just a little and then I want to put my two fingers so that way if I'm trying to put the roots in there I don't want to break it so apparently this didn't take too long usually it takes uh, three weeks so I already got roots in two weeks which is unbelievable <laughs> That happens. All right, now, okay, girl, put it in there. Well, if one breaks, there's still one there, right? So, just kind of squeeze it in there, and I'll be adding more soil. So, so all the the roots will be inside the soil. press it a little bit so they tighten and they won't be falling there we go so that's it very simple so now I'm gonna wait and see and let it grow and grow these are so easy to grow so my friends I hope you like this video and not afraid to get cuttings from a friend don't be afraid nothing's going to happen you're not going to lose anything just try it out and see what happens experiment just like me for example i saw this beautiful rose which i posted it and thanks to um maribel for that app that she gave me um i love that app and i put all pictures of the flowers or what i found this nice um uh, bush it was roses in one branch or a stem you might call it was like 14 roses all at once oh my god it was gorgeous and guess what on the side what i did is just cut a piece 
I know it's in the school property, but it's, I wasn't taking the plant away. But I just grabbed the small cutting off it and I took it home and I threw it in water. And I also gonna try and see if I put it in the soil. And uh, that video is coming up soon. I have it uh, already. I already have it done, part of it, but I want you to see all the process when it's growing and how it's going with soil or with water which way is more faster or better okay my friends so look forward to that video soon coming up soon all right so thank you for watching hope to see you again on the next video and subscribe if you're new share happy planting bye